Hi, my name is Liz Thompson, and I'll be telling you what I do here at the University of the Pacific. First, I'm an alum, worked here 21 years, but currently I'm the director of PACWELL, and what I do is oversee wellness education for the entire campus that spans eight dimensions of life skills, or what we call eight dimensions of wellness. And those eight dimensions include physical, social, emotional, spiritual, environmental, financial, intellectual, and career wellness. So we put on workshops and huge events. We do all kinds of things that help students from their first year to their last year gain the skills they need in each of those categories in order to succeed. Hi, my name is Miranda Heaney. I'm the graduate assistant at PacWell. And essentially what my job is, is to support the PacWell staff and to help with putting on programming that's useful for the entire school. Um, and that's also useful for specific groups like commuter students, first year students, uh, so on and so forth. So PacWell promotes wellness here at Pacific by doing a lot of different large scale events. So we do events like Tame the Tiger, which is in the fall. And that's a week long series of activities where we kind of help students think about how to master their stress ahead of midterms and finals. And then we also have another big event in the spring, which is Wellness Fair, Wellness Week. Um, and it's an entire week full of wellness activities. So we have a taco truck on campus. We kind of have lawn games. We have a fair where different um, areas of student affairs kind of table and talk with students. So we do more large scale events and then we also do smaller outreach events like we do little pop up events here and there and we recently just started going into first year residence halls and presenting on things like time management, stress um, and sleep habits. We start with the first year experience. So the freshmen coming in at orientation take a wellness assessment that spans eight dimensions that I mentioned before and they answer questions as to how they think they're doing in each one of those categories. And any student that shares difficulty in one of those categories, we let we, we contact them. So that's one thing that we do. We have a Canvas wellness course online that students, particularly the freshmen, can click onto and learn all they need to learn about the different dimensions of wellness. For about eight years, I've taught Pacific Seminar One, and it's a freshman first semester class with a wellness syllabus that I wrote um, and was accepted by the PACS committee. And I think that's super important because in high school, students are followed by their parents, by their high school teachers, by their coaches. In college, at a, at a university like this, that's not true. They need to learn to manage themselves, their academics, how to make friends, how to sustain friendships, how to manage their emotions, how to balance their academics with all of that. So I just believe that a wellness focus in the first semester of a mentor or a seminar course is vital for those first year students to really solidify their success at the university. One thing that uh, we've wanted to do for several years is have a peer educator program and we finally got a little bit of money to do that it's called SHAPE, Student Health and Wellness Peer Educators, and actually my GA came up with that title and I love it. We ha we've hired three peer educators and they're so important because they are the same age as the students, so they know what the students need, they know what the students want, and they have the ability to put together workshops, trained by us, and actually get out to where the students are. So we've already done several in the residence halls, in the evening where the students actually live. We're doing another one on financial literacy that will span this month and then next semester. So they really have the heartbeat of the student in mind because they are students. And so we just love working with them and they've got some fantastic ideas, things we wouldn't think of. So it's important for Pacific students to stay well because a lot of times folks don't realize that when one area of your eight dimensions of wellness is thrown off, you can be thrown off completely. Um, for example, you could be really, um, you could be dieting, exercising, eating well, staying hydrated, but if you're not sleeping well, then your academics are gonna suffer. Additionally, if you're not making time to hang out with your friends because you're so consumed with that next test or paper, um, then you're gonna be feeling a little you know, lonely and isolated. So it's important to pay attention to all different dimensions 
expectations of wellness and make sure that you are hitting all of the marks and really trying to keep up with your different dimensions so that you are experiencing overall wellness and you're not feeling like you're lacking in any of those areas. Some of the challenges we face when we're trying to put on programming for PacWell is first and foremost trying to reach certain groups. So for example, commuter students are hard to reach because they're not here in the evening. Sometimes they've already gone home by then. So it's important to make sure that we're doing programming during the day when they're on campus so we can reach them and give them the same amount of programming events and resources that everyone else is getting. Um, additionally, first year students are harder to reach because sometimes they're a little more in their shell and they're a little more worried about you know going to events so we try and bring the events to them um, we just started doing events in residence halls so it's more like you know we're here we're ready to do this event for you we're ready to talk to you about these important things so it's a little harder for them to kind of you know shy away and avoid us another challenge is getting students to the location we want them we've had great success with that because we have great people who know a lot about the student age group and how to market but sometimes students are so stressed and so busy, they don't want to take the time. So that, you know, that's a challenge as well. By far my favorite thing about working at PacWell is the kinds of events that we do. So for example, my favorite event always is when we bring therapy dogs to campus and it just makes me so happy because students will run to us, run to us on the lawn and they'll be like, oh, Thor is here, Daisy's here. And they get so excited to see these dogs that they know by name because we bring them back so frequently that the students feel like they know these dogs and they know the, the owners. And it's just always a good time to kind of see how happy that makes students and it's such a simple activity that we can do that makes people feel really you know good inside and comfortable and feel more at home um, another fun activity we do is we just did um, an ice cream sundae event and we're gonna be doing a cupcake decorating event um, again we just try to do stuff that kind of gets students to think that it's not really an educational event it's more about just getting them out there and getting them excited about something and talking to them about wellness topics as often as we can so I'm hoping that each student learns something from what we're doing. And honestly, what they learn is going to depend on what they need. And that's my hope, that they're able to reflect, self-reflect, and determine, oh, you know, what is it that I really need to learn how to do? Is it something socially? Is it something emotionally? And then be able to come to a workshop or an activity that actually focuses on what they need and take one skill away that solidifies their success, not only in that dimension, but that it, they transfer it into the academic world of their classroom. Because we know that successful academics require balance in life skills in all those eight dimensions. So that's what I hope they take. Wellness is a lifelong journey, right? So I'm not an expert on wellness. My coworkers are not experts on wellness. So we do what we can to keep ourselves well, but it's, it's such a journey and it's something that's so personal to everyone. Um, and what works for you right now might not work for you in a month or a year or five years. And so it's this ongoing cycle um, and you really have to kind of work toward balancing your areas of wellness. I would also say that students should not be freaked out if they don't have wellness, you know, nailed down by the time they leave college because we're trying to give them tools and advice that will help them develop those skills long term so that they can continue to work on those skills post-graduation.